have a wonderful update to a story that we first told you about back in January. You might remember we had Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth, and they separated conjoined twins for the very first time in hospital history. It was a big deal, and now both baby girls are back at home. They're with mom and dad. And our Olivia Leach is checking in on the family as they are celebrating a new beginning together. At the end of January, conjoined twins Jamie Lynn and Amy Lynn were in an 11 hour surgery at Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth as a medical team worked to separate them. They were conjoined at the chest. It's just so hard. You know, you got to stay positive, you got to keep the right mindset. Because even whenever they're going into that surgery room, we didn't know the outcome, but we we're just praying for the right one. After weeks in the NICU, Jamie Lynn got to go home in March. Amy Lynn had a tougher road ahead. She had to undergo an additional surgery. But last Friday, Amy Lynn finally got to go home too. Definitely weight lifted, a lot of emotions. Today, the twins and their parents returned to Cook Children's Hospital to celebrate. Mom Amanda shared the best part of this milestone. Them looking at each other and holding hands. It was hard to say goodbye for the medical team who cared for these babies for so long. It was very bittersweet. We're also excited that they were getting, she was getting to go home with Jamie and her parents, but then we were going to miss her. Yeah. I mean, we all just love both of the babies. Like, they're part of our family. And so there's a little piece missing now that they're not here. It's something most parents take for granted, simply holding your child. You see them. All type of wires and machines beeping, you know. You just want to hold them and let them know that, you know, it's going to be okay. Now they can. The twins have a long road ahead that includes rehab, but hand in hand, separate but still together, they have a community rooting them on. In Fort Worth, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.